Established where the where the seal is going to ride on the propeller shaft. So we have the shaft log and the transmission. The seal's three inches long. The housing actually a little bit longer than three inches. It looks like three and a half. So the maximum that would need to prep the shaft for would be. 10 inches away from the end of the shaft. The front would be, might want to prep it up to say as close as five and a half, which gives you some leeway in here and room for the hose to flex. So as we determine inside the boat, five and a half to 10 inches, the potential area for the seal to ride. And it appears that in order to get behind this slight wear area where the existing packing box was, we're gonna to wanna to set this back a little bit. So toward the back end rather than the front end. So that still leaves us plenty of room of smooth material here, right just behind this. So this is gonna be our ideal area. So we're gonna prep the surface where the seals are gonna ride between the marks. Try to keep it as straight as you possibly can. Do not, do not allow it to rotate and go down up and down the shaft as you're sanding it. And you keep it parallel as much as possible. Rotate the shaft. Try to get rid of any imperfections, slight hitting, or longitudinal lengthwise scratches to provide a good clean seal, seal surface for the nitro lip seals to ride. Do this within the entire range of where you're planning the seal to be. In this case, we've got it marked. That's all it takes just to kind of dress it up, provide a proper surface for the seals to break in and cut in. They need that roughness. You do not want to polish smooth. Takes the sort of sharp edges off here. Doesn't really take much in the way of material. Now the key slot is definitely a little bit sharp. But it just takes the sharp edge off here. Paying particular attention right up here at the front where the key slot meets the chamfer.
back. Move it up a little bit. So it's got some movement. <laughs> 